Welcome to Profitable Trade-Ups from Every CS2 Case, the series where I show you the most profitable trade-ups from every case for each rarity. Today, we're doing the Snakebite case. By the way, I'm giving away this Huntsman Knife lore when we hit 20,000 subscribers, so if you'd like to enter for a chance to win, check out the community post. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Also, make sure to stick around and watch the whole video to find out what this week's giveaway is and the instructions to enter. Let's do some trade-ups. Surprisingly, I think today's Millspec to Restricted trade-up is the best of them all. This trade-up consists of three Stat Track Factory New and seven Stat Track Minimal Wear Millspec skins from the Snakebite case below a 0.07 average float. I found the easiest way to do this was by getting the Factory New skins below a 0.0291 float and the Minimal Wear skins below a 0.0875 float. Make sure to get the Stat Track Factory New skins for $1.46 or less and the Stat Track Minimal Wear skins for $0.56 cents or less. This trade-up costs $8.30 total and has a 127.47% profitability after Steam fees with a 40% chance to profit each time. Even though there's only a small 40% chance to profit, this contract is insane because if you hit the Stat Trek Factory new AK-47 slate, you'll profit over $25. Alright boys, first trade up of the video, let's see how much money we can make today. I'm hoping for a lot. We have 5 of these mil to restricted, so I hope we hit at least 1 slate, but 2 would be crazy and a great way to start the video. But let's see it. Can we hit it on the first contract, baby? Gaben, are you feeling lucky today? 3, 2, 1, boom. Unfortunate. It's like a $5 loss, man. These trade-ups are around eight bucks, so it's like not entirely cheap, but if we do hit that slate, we're up so much. We just need to pray for that. We have four more of these to go. All right, man, trade-up number two. Can we see the profit right here? Three, two, one, boom. Oh, another cyber shell. Interesting. Back to back cyber shells. Would have been cool if we could get back to back slates. Not really what we want, but maybe we can hit it here on the final three. All right. Third trade up, please. Let's see that slate. Come on, AK slate. Oh, okay. That's still profit. That's still profit. Not nearly as much as the slate. Slate's like $26 a profit. This is just under a dollar. Um, so we'll take it. I mean, it's better than getting another cyber shell and losing five bucks. But like I said, we still really want to see a slate. Two more to go. Do you think we'll see it? Drop a comment with your prediction. Second to last, mail spec to restricted. Come on. Do I even need to say anything? You already know what we want to see. So just show it to us. Boom. Oh, another $5 loss. Not great, really not great. Like I said, this is a pretty risky trade up. So you're not gonna be hitting that AK every time, unfortunately. I mean, you can't win them all, obviously, but we do have one more attempt. Let's hope for the best. We've seen everything except for the Negev and the AK. So I'm hoping we see one of those and I'm hoping it's the AK. With my luck, it's gonna be the Negev. And I said it, so I probably jinxed it, but we'll see. Come on, baby, AK, sleep. Oh, another button masher. We got two duplicates, which is kind of annoying. Bad duplicates at that. But I mean, you can't really complain, man. It is what it is. We just got to move on and hope for the best on these final two contracts. These are some bangers, by the way. And the classified to covert one is kind of crazy. So stay tuned for that. But before I continue, my friends over at GamerPay have a crazy offer for you. Today's sponsor, GamerPay, wants to sponsor you with a free five euros on your first 50 euro deposit. GamerPay is an extremely trustworthy peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website where you can find some some of the cheapest CS2 skins on the market. Take a look at this MAC-10 Fade, for example. Currently, the cheapest one is on GamerPay. GamerPay is the only marketplace with no buying or selling fees, and you can even sell your skins on a trade lock. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to claim your free five euros today. The most profitable restricted to classified trade up consists of three Stat Track Factory New and seven Stat Track Minimal Wear Restricted skins from the Snakebite case below a 0.07 average float. The easiest floats are identical to the first trade up with the Stat Track Factory New skins coming in below 0.0291 and the Stat Trek Minimal Wear skins coming in below 0 0.0875. Make sure to get the Stat Trek Factory New skins for $3.47 or less and the Stat Trek Minimal Wear skins for $1.25 or less. This trade up costs $19.16 total and has a 118.79% profitability after Steam fees and is actually no risk with a 100% chance to profit each time. All right, boys, next up are these restricted to classifieds. These ones are crazy, 100% chance to profit every time. So we'll be making back some of what we just lost lost on that first set of contracts. It was not a great start. We didn't see the AK slate as we would have liked to, but that's okay because we're going to make it up right here. Show us the Galil Chromatic Aberration right now for nearly $5 of profit. Three, two, one, bang. 
Let's go, man. We hit it. All right, we're taking that $4.60 of profit, nearly making up for those cyber shells that we started to get at the beginning. But we have three more of these. So let's hope for three more chromatic aberrations, man. I mean, we're just trying to make money. That's really all it is. Give us that money. Oh, also what? I never really noticed this had the bomb code on the back. That's pretty cool. Bomb code with a smiley face. Hee <laughs> <laughs> All right, my bad. I'm moving on. All right, things aren't going too well. I have a strategy, man. What if I just give the MAC-10 a little tickle? <laughs> Alright, alright. Alright, maybe we'll have some good luck now. Let's see. That was very sus. My bad. But, maybe it'll help. Who will? Oh, it's alright. $3.40 profit. I mean, you really can't complain no matter what the outcome is on any of these no-risk trade-ups. Like, they're all fire. But, as y'all know, I do love this skin. It is beautiful. So colorful, which I love. Looks great. Um, let's do the final two of these. Second to last, restricted to classified. Let's see another Galil right now. Oh, we got it. Okay, we're making our money back, man, slowly but surely. I'm still kind of sad that we didn't get that AK slate. Such a nice skin and so profitable, but it is what it is. Stay tuned for that final contract, though. It's actually bonkers. But before that, we have one more of these. What's it going to be? Boom. Another food chain. We didn't see the XOXO once, which is sick. We got the two most profitable outcomes every time. We will take that. Now, let's move on to the final trade-up of the entire video, the most insane one. But before I do that, it's giveaway time. All right, boys, this week I'm giving away a Stat Trek Factory new Desert Eagle Mecha Industries. To enter, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment letting me know what your favorite budget skin is. The slate is definitely one of my favorites because of its versatility. Also, just make sure to have your Steam trade link in your YouTube bio so I can send you the skin when you win. But make sure you don't skip a step or else you won't be entered. Now, let's do the most expensive trade up of the video. The classified to covert trade up I decided on consists of three Stat Trek Factory new skins from the recoil case and seven Stat Trek minimal wear skins from the snake bite case below a 0.07 average float. The easiest way to do this was again with the Stat Trek Factory new skins below a 0.0291 float and the Stat Trek Minimal Wear skins below a 0.0875 float. Make sure to get the Recoil skins for $23.30 or less and the Snake Bite skins for $8.12 or less. This trade-up costs $126.74 total and has a 106.61% profitability after Steam fees with a 50% chance to profit each time. Each of the USPS skins are profitable with the Stat Trek Factory new USPS print stream from the Recoil case being the best at $115 of profit. All right, we have made it to the final trade-up of the video. The most expensive one, Classified to Covert. There aren't that many good just snake bite trade-ups for Classified to Covert, so I tried to cook up something pretty nice. Obviously, the chase item for the snake bite Coverts is the USPS Trader, so I just thought, why not go for another USPS 2 that's quite profitable? And obviously, we would love to see that 15% chance for the USPS Print Stream. It's obviously more expensive than the USPS Trader at like nearly $3. $300, I'm pretty sure it's worth. So we're hoping for the print stream, but we wouldn't mind the trader either. The other two options are pretty bad though. 50-50, everything goes down to a coin flip and you know I love coin flips. Let's see it right here. USPS on the screen in three, two, one, boom. Let's go, baby. And it's fitting that we got the trader because it's from the snake bite case. Great way to end it. I'm not even mad that it wasn't the print stream. That's absolutely fine. Now, let me just quickly do the math and see how much we profited or lost in the video. We will see. All right, boys, as you can see, the stuff at the top of the screen is what we came out with. And after doing the math, I found out that we profited $49.78 on the episode. Not bad at all. It obviously would have been a lot better if we hit one or two of the slate, but we can't really complain. We hit the trader at the end, a $200 gun in Stat Trek Factory new condition. So I'm not upset at all. This thing is an absolute beauty, so I will take that. I'm definitely going to play with it for a bit before I sell it. What a nice skin, and what a way to end off this video. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.